Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Lisette. And guys, we have another finish. Aussie girl from Hanalyn from Diamond Art Club. This is such a cutie. And uh, well, you've already seen everything in the intro, but this is a Diamond Art Club, 50 colors, 70 by 89 centimeters. Hanalyn Diamond Art Club. Unfortunately, she's been discontinued, but guys, I had so much fun working on this one. It's my first and one and only Hannah Lynn that I have in my stash. Um, and this one, well, it's a larger one, but the only large ones that I have done are, were from Josephine Wall and from Chuck Pinson, which are both artist with really confetti heavy diamond paintings and confetti heavy in case you don't know what that means are a lot of color changes in a small area this one though was more of a combination of color blocking so when you don't have a lot of changes of color in a certain area and confetti because the whole background guys the whole sky that was all areas of color blocking the hair, this part, that was confetti heavy. But even in the bottom, this part, you can do a lot of line blocking. And oh, I really like that part. All the details, like for instance, in here with the little green, her belt. It is all done really beautiful. I really like the rendering of this one. I do think that Diamond Art Club rendering style because Diamond Art Club does hand charting, so that means that there's actually a person going over the charts to make it um, a bit more, well, crisp, that's the word that I use. And I think the more cartoonish style diamond paintings like Hannah Lynn render really, really well. Um, the more watercolor style diamond paintings, my personal preference are from other companies, but that's just a personal thing. Um, either way, this one I really loved working on. There were a couple of things though. The first thing is the drills. The three tens. This is a square diamond painting, but the three tens, which are the black. And you use all the black for the outlining. The quality was terrible. I have already uh, mentioned it in another video of mine. Um, and well, with Diamond Art Club, you get a guarantee. So if there's something wrong with your drills, you can contact them. I didn't do that. So that's my thing because I was like, okay, I'm not going to bother them f to sending me 310 drills just for a kit. So I powered through and what I did do, the last kit that I did from Diamond Art Club, Make a Wish and Take a Bite, had really good uh, black 310 uh, uh, square drills and I had some leftovers and those I used for this diamond painting and then afterwards with the rest I just powered through. So norm with all the other drills those were great you can see the the result but guys poor quality drills is just so annoying and I well, almost never have a problem with Diamond Art Club with the drills because they are really great quality. And all the newer kids that are coming out, they're producing their own drills right now. And apparently it's great quality. I wouldn't know because I'm still trying to work through my stash because I'm doing the stash detox. If you want to know what a stash detox is, I'll put a link to the playlist over there. But that just means that I'm trying to work through the stash that I have instead of adding new diamond paintings to my stash. So leftover drills guys. Uh, that was another thing. I ran out of a color. That's the first with Diamond Art Club. That has never happened to me before. I ran out of the color 728. Oh, that one. It's a yellow that you see in her hair. Um, but I have leftover drills from other kits, so I used those. Um, but this particular kit would have been an example 
where you could contact Diamond Art Club to, show, to send you extra or new drills. That is a service that they have, but since I'm in Europe and with all the shipping and the time that it would cost and all the... I just thought, well, <laughs> I, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to bother. But if you want to do that, that is a possibility. I just chose not to, guys. So that's uh, me being lazy. <laughs> because the service is there for situations like this. And I think that's really awesome that they have that service. Okay, for the other drills I had leftovers and I'm going to kit this one down and keep the leftover drills except for the three tens. Look, I've got an extra bag of those because the quality isn't good uh, from this kit. But as I said, I just finished another kit a couple of weeks ago and the blacks were great. So it could just be a mishap. It's a bit annoying. Yes, of course, that's always the case. But uh, the result is beautiful. Okay guys, so this is my 18th finish. Let's check in my stash journal. Right, so stash detox. I can put another sticker. And I'm going to put a light pink one. for my handling. So, 34 still to go guys. And as I said, this is my one and only handling. Would I like to work on more handling diamond paintings in the future? Maybe I really like the, the coloring style. Um, but now that we're talking about it, I have been making a wish list of diamond paintings that I would like to work on after I have finished my stash detox. And till date, there's not a new handling on that list yet. And one of the most important reasons is that handling diamond paintings are really popular and for good reason. Um, but I like to work on diamond paintings that not everyone is working on. I, I don't know what it is about me, but I, I like to search for diamond paintings um, that aren't all over the place. Uh, so that's a thing that I'm going to be focusing on after I have finished my stash detox. The, um, one of the most important things though is that I would like to try other diamond painting companies. Because I have a lot of diamond art clubs in my stash. Um, and there are amazing new companies that I would like to try out like for instance uh, Jade Gem Shop from Jade and a Diamond Painting Shop uh, PPE at the end um, from Rosa um, and, and there are some others as well Oraloa I haven't tried out yet I haven't tried out Bella Safina I haven't um, well uh, oh, uh, uh, Diamond Art Studio, uh, UK. So there are just other companies that I would like to try out. And um, so that's why there aren't a lot of Diamond Art Clubs on my wish list yet. There are a couple of though, them though. And um, it's not like I'm not going to be working on Diamond Art Clubs or Hannah Lynn's in the future. Um, but well... The plan is <laughs> to try and, um, well, okay, let's just be honest. I, I have a very, very big preference from DIY Moon Shop. I really love the artists over there. Um, and just to change things up, uh, now I'm working on a Distracted by Diamonds, the first one that I'm working on, and uh, I'm loving that so that's a great company as well right guys so that was this week's short post review slash uh, wish list update slash detox <laughs> oh i can just do one more thing let's just color 
in because this was finished number 18 only two more to go and then I'm at 20 and then I get another reward let's just see where's that at here look 17 number 18 I'm just going to color that in blue so number 18 is done and now we're on to number 19 okay this one was a really biggie I'm going to be working on some smaller diamond paintings next week I'll have an unboxing for you guys for the diamond painting that I'm going to be working on in September it is a diamond art club uh, and it's one that I haven't unboxed on my channel yet so I haven't got a lot of unboxings left because most of the diamond paintings in my stash I have already unboxed on my channel so you've seen them um, it is a really popular kit though um, so maybe if you've got an idea leave it in the comments below if you want to take a guess which one it's going to be and uh, well guys, then it's almost the end of August already. My god, time's flying. Oh, we... Over here it's still really hot, but we've got a weather changing coming because the heat wave's almost ending, but there are thunderstorms coming. So I hope I'll have this uploaded in time before the internet goes out, because when we get thunderstorms, the internet goes oh and if you hear something in the background that's just the neighbor trying to cut some trees down i think <laughs> right guys let me know what you think do you love this one do you have her in your stash if you have her in your stash you're lucky and i really hope that you have better black drills than i did and if not, I can really recommend just contacting DAC beforehand, before you want to start working on it. Because the thing is, guys, once you're working on it, and of course you can contact them to send them over, but if you're impatient like me, you're like, okay, don't bother, I'm just going to power through. But I do think it, it's a better experience when you've got good drills. And we all know that Diamond Art Lab usually has very good drills. So if you have this in your stash, check your 310s beforehand and otherwise contact Diamond Art Lab. That's my advice. Right guys, I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up on your way out.